confusion there, but that's all good. Uh, our starters are off the grid, and uh, we should see the lights coming up soon. And the lights are up, revs are up, and they're off. Up on that back wheel there from the uh, number six motorsport team as Hank Gilmore takes a nice turn into 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 turn one, uh, easily takes that lead and it looks like two uh, D6M bikes are hot on its tail and they make their way uh, to turn two and uh, through the up and over all look like they're through there safely and Caleb Gilmore gives away the lead to the uh, hard charging D6M bikes. Uh, coming up and it looks like that's Cameron in the lead now and, uh, and Logan might have slotted in there as well so uh, so already excitement as we're into, into turn 4 coming down the Porsche Dipper now you can see that the D6M bikes are dominating uh, Caleb and pushing them, pushing them around a bit there as they come down to the final last sweeper uh, and they'll tuck in there and try and get a bit of a toe up that hill here you go, Caleb's sticking in there nice and tight. He'll try and draft him up the hill as they come around to complete their first lap. There's a pack of four, back to a two pack, and then a three pack, and another two pack. And the D6M bikes are looking strong. Caleb Gilmore makes his way around the outside there to cross the line in second place. It looks like Cameron Leslie's taking the lead on the first lap, and Logan not far behind there. Coming down into turn two, that pack of fours really, really tight. And they're all all within a second of each other. Uh, back to the back to the sixth place. And you see the Cameron Leslie and Caleb Gilmore duos uh, never never fails to impress. See chopping back and forth, swapping positions as they come down to the Porsche Dipper. Already, second lap in and we've got some excitement going on. That pack of four there is starting to pull away from the rest of the field. And you can see that uh, there's another pack of four battling uh, just a little bit further back. That front group's making their way to turn six up the sweeper and Caleb's looking like he wants to get another toe up the hill again from these D6M bikes. Uh, looks like Leslie there, uh, Cameron's just pulling away a little bit there. Trying to get some breathing space uh, as Caleb makes his charge towards the line. And that's absolutely what's happening. Cameron's just stretched it out by three bike lengths coming across that front lane as they dip into turn one. So we're looking at, uh, at uh, a full field, full field today. It appears that uh, we've lost one rider and maybe. Uh, uh, looks like Desmond's pulled into the pit. Uh, Cameron there on that fastest lap, he's done 1.16. Uh, down to... Uh, down to Caleb Gilmore's also at 1.16. So wow, first five uh, across the line are all, all within a second of each other. Uh, then there's Hamish Simpson at 1.17. Uh, ben Cook, welcome back to, to Ben Cook, he's, he's made an appearance this round, a long time highest uncut campaigner and uh, it's awesome to see him on a, on a bike here today. Sean Park is uh, keeping him honest there with 118s, Simon Beard for Beard Racing uh, also in the, in the 118s. Then we've got the Souza, Boyd, Craig Smith, Alistair Wilton, Skelton, Mark and Wittering. Uh, sitting there at 15th. Back to Greg Percival, uh, Paul Ellis, Ben Mayo, Finlay, McNabb, Garvey, Trent McDermott, Webster, Phil Oates, Taylor, Fowles, Trigger, Taper, Brown and Pairama. And uh, we see Megan Kemp, uh, Olivia Lunn and uh, Simon Finlay coming. Uh, coming in from the grid there here, uh, two, two ladies of the cup. Uh, it's awesome to see so many, so many new faces on the grid today. Having their first experience uh, of, of racing 
head to the last round of the Auckland Motor Soccer Club Championship. So C is uh, Caleb Hughes across the line in first place uh, for, for that last lap. And we'll just work our way around to find where the battle's going. screens to roll over. We've got uh, some more high sinks coming up. There's a full pack in there. And you certainly need some Caleb Gilmore and Cameron Leslie still hard at it. They're coming up on some traffic now. So uh, this is going to make uh, for an interesting last couple of laps. Let's try and catch up with them uh, at turn uh, through the up and over. And coming into high pool. Caleb, very strong down there, and he's going to try and duck up the inside. But uh, looks like he's getting caught up in, uh, in some of those back markers there. Uh, he doesn't want to be there for too long because Cameron's going to stretch out that lead uh, uh, quite convincingly. We'll see he's got about a 10 bike blink lead as he comes down to the sweeper on Caleb. And he's also been harassed there by the other D6M bike. And, and Cameron looking like he's, uh, he's, get, he's stretching it out quite a bit now. And Caleb's just tucked in there behind the other D6M bike. You'll notice that, uh, that these, these three uh, crossing the line first are just in a class of their own. Uh, as as uh, Cameron makes, his, makes a win for that one. It's unfortunate for, uh, for Caleb getting caught up in, in some of that, some of those back markers there, and that all adds to, uh, to the race craft. Uh, so we have uh, Cameron Leslie taking the chicken flag there, uh, Caleb Gilmore, Logan Rowe, Dylan Byrne, Sean White, Hamish Simpson, Sean Parker, Adrian De Souza, Simon Beard, and Ben Cook uh, as your top 10. And uh, yeah, that's, that was an awesome battle there between Cameron and Caleb uh, for those first first four or five laps. Uh, and then that goes to show that the, those back markers do play a big part uh, in, 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 in your race craft. Uh, because it ended up being a, a win by 2.3 seconds for for uh, D6 double six motorsport uh, Cameron Leslie uh, and then uh, his teammate coming in third place uh, with the best lap time of the minute 16.107 uh, and as we see the last box of the junior class coming across the line now awesome field there uh, 38 starters uh, and we'll see it's a lot of names to get through, but it's, 